Sydney, Australia. This is the first day of a 14-day cruise on the Voyager of the Sea. Take 350 needlework people plus 21 instructors. Place them on one of the largest cruise ships afloat, the Voyager of the Sea. Take them on a cruise around New Zealand, stopping at six ports, and you have the recipe for a fun-filled adventure, with loads of entertainment, sightseeing, fine food, and more fine food. The first stop for the needlework ladies is Highbury Hill and then the embroidery shop. Next stop is the beautiful upmarket suburb of Devonport. Full moon rises over Auckland Harbour as we set sail. Day 5 sees us entering Tararonga Harbour. The Rotorua Museum is a very impressive building from the outside. Hot springs and bubbling mud are a major tourist attraction in the area. The Redwood Forest at Rotorua is also a very popular tourist attraction, as is Rainbow Springs Kiwi Wildlife Park. Napier, the Art Deco capital of the world. On February the 2nd, 1931, Napier was destroyed by a 7.8 magnitude earthquake with the loss of 256 people. The city was completely rebuilt in the fashion of that period, Art Deco, and is now one of the finest examples of this period in the world. The needlework cruise ladies got wind of this silk shop in Wellington closing down, possibly the best day's trading the shop has ever had. The view as it is from the top cable car station. Ride the cable car to the top and have a leisurely walk down through the botanic gardens. The statue of Robbie Burns sits large and proud in the centre of Dunedin. Large landslides are a common feature in this landscape. The township of Milford and the port lie directly in front of us.
it's all over now and a great time was had by all. <laughs>